G'day fellas and welcome to a casted game. We are here on Gorge once again. One of my favorite maps. You guys know I love this map to pieces. It's always a great game when it's a game on Gorge. Let's introduce our players today. Starting off in the southwest corner of the map. Playing in the color teal as the Rus. We've got downfall. Oh my lord. My door's already open, eh, mate? How you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, I'm trying to cast a game over here, all right? You go out to mummy. And on the north side of the map in the color purple, playing as the Order of the Dragon, we've got Demu. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a cast of game. It is a pleasure to have your company. If you're enjoying this Age of Empires 4 content, see you, mate. Have a good day. <laughs> Make sure you leave a like down on the video. I tell you what, it is a, always a great day when I got that guy in my life. He is just a... Oh, it was so funny. We, we, were, uh, we were just out in the kitchen having a little bit of a chat. And it, we've got like this little... It's, it's, it's like a little giraffe stepladder. And uh, he was sitting on one of the steps and using the second step as like a little table. And uh, it was just... It was the cutest thing in the world because he was eating his little chopped up grapes. But anyway, let's get to it. We got ourselves a fun matchup. The Roos, the Order of the Dragon. Expect there to be a lot of action come the castle age. I'm curious exactly which way this is going to go down. Is Demu going to be looking for that quick Imperial, or is he going to open with a 2TC instead? We've seen him play the Order of the Dragon before the Holy Roman Empire, and he's opted to go for a second TC. Is he going to be able to achieve what he wasn't able to achieve in the last time we saw him? That is the big question on my mind. Already, we can see the downfall. Looking to bring back a couple of sheep to the town center, doing the right thing. You've got to be so careful as the Roos. You go through this these starting sheep really quickly, mainly just because with your scouts, you're quite aggressive early on. Uh, and naturally, you're going to be pretty far away from your base by the time you run out of... Oh, gosh. A little bit of a burp coming in right there. Uh, by the time that you run out... Oh, nice little snipe there from Downfall. Uh, by the time you run out of sheep. But Demir now managing to secure up some sheep here as well. Keep in mind, he's got... Uh, He's got that animation cancel to deal with the deer. They'll both claim a couple deer from the pack here. And it uh, looks like Demo is managing to get the lion's share. That's going to be five going over to Demo. You can see the difference between the two. Downfall not utilizing that animation cancel this early on. Now, keep in mind, Downfall's a pretty good player, right? He's a Conqueror 3 player. I know that much about him. I think he's currently sitting at about 18, maybe 1900 rating. So I'm not expecting his downfall to be relatively quick in this game. So... Demu is going to have a bit of a tough time here. The age up's about to come through. Demu looking to put down. Well, is it going to be a mine work? Is it going to be an Arkan? I think by the he's judging by his positioning, it's going to be an Arkan. Have a look at this. It's going to be an Arkan on the wood line. Honestly, this isn't bad. I, I, I'll I be honest. I, I think this is actually pretty good. And the reason why is just because of how much wood is actually in here. You're going to get really, really good value on this Arkan. If this Arkan was like, you know, golden berries... It's, it's just not worth it, right? Because the resources that you've got here are just kind of irrelevant if it's golden berries. Like, it's nice to have the golden berries buffed up, but this is actually good. It also hits the stone. So if you're thinking about a second town center, we know he is. If you're thinking about a second town center, then you've got that option for you as well. Um, so I, I, I think this is actually decent. This is probably one of the few times I, I feel like going for the Arkham Chapel can actually be really, really worth it. And remember that this wood line here is much bigger than the standard wood line. Uh, just simply because on this map with the wood line spawning to the back, they give you a little bit extra uh, just for you to get through it. So compare that to like the uh, Dry Arabia ones. The Dry Arabia one, you can actually see the outside of the circle and how big it is there. And then you can also see the extra little trees on around the outside that it gives you. So quite a bit of difference. And have a look at this though. Have a look at this. We've got ourselves a Kremlin position 10 out of 10 that is happening right here. Smack bang in the middle of two stone and gold veins out the front of the base you cannot ask for a better spawn right here for this kremlin to be going down this is so nice it's going to be able to defend both of these without too much of a hassle and it is going to be second town centers for both players judging by the stone outcropping so so far nothing too out of the ordinary pretty much what you kind of expect for it the only thing i, I really don't get and I'll be honest, maybe I should just start playing the Order of the Dragon or the Holy Roman Empire. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to do it just because as a civilization, it just feels like such a linear sieve, right? Like if I don't achieve my goals, then I just don't win. Um, but I just don't understand why people just simply don't go for fast Imperial. It, it, to me, it just seems like such a simple, straightforward strategy. But I mean, there's obviously a reason that people don't do it. Like when you think about the win rate, the win rate for the Order of the Dragon, the Holy Roman Empire, it's not 100%. So it's not guaranteed that it's going to work. So you got to play a little bit around it, and 2TC's definitely got a place in the meta 
We're right on board with Demu now, as he did open up with that double scout. We've seen him do it. I think I've seen Demu play double scout opening three games in a row. I think we've cast a three Demu games in the week last week or so. And every single one, I'm pretty sure he's gone with a double scout opening. The first game against the Marlians. Second game against the... Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember who, who he was up against, but... Uh... Yeah, I think it was double scout. So, second town center about to come down. Good little timing he's got here. Five minutes 30 for that placement just outside the radius or just inside the radius of that Arkham Chapel. But he's not going to be too fussed about it. It's only 10%. Not a big deal to be missing out on just a farm or two. Uh, absolutely fine. Nice little spot he's got back here as well. Stone. And, of course, away from the front means that it's going to be a little less likely to be sniped out. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if both players just go straight into Castle Age from here. I think this is almost guaranteed to happen. Both civilizations are pretty reliant on Castle Age being a significant point to pay off. And I suspect Damu, as well as his opponent Downfall, will be scouting out each other and looking for that. So here you're going to see Downfall looking at that second TC. The big question for him now is how many villagers are on gold? You can see he's already got a scout in position. You can almost click that gold vein. That's going to be the big thing. I suspect he's probably going to be looking for production on the back here just to make sure a barracks or two doesn't go down in this period. And at the same time, Demu, you can see the two scouts towards the front of his opponent's base are looking for that gold as well. Now, of course, he's already spotted out the stone. He knows exactly what is up here when it comes to second TC. So all the math has already been done inside his head. But one of the things that we start to see, a lot of villagers on wood. So naturally, I'm going to be suspecting we might see some farms getting thrown down or maybe a single stable. A single stable is always really nice just because you can get that just, just one unit out, force a bit of a reaction, a little bit of idle time is lovely to do. But it's going to be an outpost on the front. Yeah. Plenty of wood in the bank here. What's Demu thinking about? The outpost is definitely going to give away what the plan is. And Downfall is going to spot that out. Sees the outpost, knows immediately these militia. Not going to be able to achieve too much. In my opinion, a little bit of a mistake with the militia coming out here. You want to try and keep those tickets stacked up so that when it comes to it, you can just immediately pop it. And has he really got zero supply available at this point in time? Where have the militia gone? Have I just been blind and not seen him with the militia? I swear this is the first set of militia that are coming out. Anyway, militia number one does go down. Second one also here. Aris, it's about to come through. Keep in mind, this outpost will be doubled up as a relic drop-off location. You can see beautiful little scouting pattern that's happened here from Downfall. I'd love to see him get a little bit more of an angle in here just to try and scout out if we're going to have any units on the cards. But speaking of units on the cards, ladies and gentlemen, the early knight has made its arrival. Downfall going to be opting with a stable early on. And we see a blacksmith to fall. Oh, Lord. Okay, it's actually going for quite a bit of production here. Not something that I expected to see. Actually, now I remember. It was... Uh, was it against the Rus last time as well? The game that he played? In fact, he actually played against the Rus. Yeah, it was a um, a double scout. That de Sorry, my, my mind is in, in multiple places. But anyway, I was, I was just thinking. He played against the Malians as Chinese. And then he played against uh, the kid who was playing as the Rus and did a one base all in, which is kind of wild. Um, and that was on this map. And then, of course, he's playing this game now, right now. So a lot of double scout openings. I don't really like double scout openings, even if you're against the Rus, just because I feel like I'm just going to get further behind and the Rus is going to be... Like, the, the Rus is playing their standard game, whereas I'm just going to be behind on where I should be. My second town center is going to be late. All that jazz. Anyway, Demo, not going to be opting for that direction instead. Have a look at this. Farming economy is starting to take off. Quite a few farms already out. We're up to nine farms. And often people look at the farms and they think, uh, why are you going for farms this early? You know, maybe go take your berries. Maybe go take your boar up to the north. Maybe go take a couple of deer. And that's a good point. But remember, you want to try and centralize everything around the Arkham Chapel. That's one of the things that makes it so strong is because it buffs up your villagers in this area. It also acts as that drop-off point. So it makes it really simple. You just take a villager from wood and you put it onto a farm underneath the Arkham when you've got the resources for it. And that way you've got this beautiful timing on the transition. But speaking of beautiful timing, Demi jumps inside the town center. A little bit of shots fired off towards that scout. It will go down. Keep in mind, Downfall has got plenty of units out. And already we see that first battering ram coming out. I don't like this. I think that this is the big difference between this game and the game that we last saw with Demi. This town center. If Downfall had gone out of the gates really, really quickly, and look to try and get units out on this map, I can 100% appreciate moving into rams right now. The difference now is that you've only got the first ram that is under construction and Demu's about to click up. 
Keep that in mind. Second outpost now coming up here on the front as well. All the villagers will get inside, but I think Demi might have to start thinking about secondary gold sources when you have got battering rams looking to pressure you. It's only going to be a matter of time until these outposts look to start hurting. Now, keep in mind, emergency repairs is technically in play with both of these outposts, and we start to see now it's going to be fortification coming through on both of them. Really, really nice play here behind this Regnitz Cathedral, which is definitely, in my opinion, the right choice, because all Demi wants to do is throw down two stables. Beautifully done. And then from here, just make double Gilded Knights, and he just wins. Easy. Easy defense. No, like, don't, don't even sweat it. You might think that it's going to get bad. It's not going to get bad. Don't worry. Or was it going to get bad? He might lose villagers here. Oh, just when we thought it wasn't going to get bad. What's... No, he's got emergency repairs, guys. It's fine. If anything, I mean, get get these knights out of here. But then the villagers potentially open up. Look at this. He's, he's going to bring the vills out to a little bit of a bait. But unfortunately, baits himself. Oh, no, 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 no. He manages to live, survive, thrive. All that good stuff. Outpost needs to get emergency repairs immediately. Right. Okay. D did a bit early, but I'm, I'll, happy, I'll happily take that one. Now I've got to instead focus on the second one at the back. Militia have been called, but keep in mind they've only got 25 seconds left on them. Outpost probably will go down here, but the second one will stay up. Gilded Knights now in queue. The first one on the way. Don't be... Don't worry. He's not under pressure. This is fine. This is part of the plan. This is all what he expected. Remember, he's just looking to focus down the knights. That's going to be the key here. The militia will naturally just go their own way. Uh, and then once you've killed all of the knights, well, that's going to be pretty much it. Villagers get out alive. He's still lost none. And this outpost here, if you think he's going to be losing it, you are wrong. The Gilded Knight will come out and should be able to save it in time. He's got a second one now in queue. Going to take some time to get out there. Was lacking a little bit in the gold department, but there we go. Militia are down with perfect timing. The Gilded Knight comes out and turns the tide quickly. Villager's going to pop out here, look for repair, or he's just going to evacuate the dance floor. I think that might be the best case. I don't think you're, you're beating the double battering rams. Indeed, those villagers do look to get on out of here, jet on out of here. And the Gilded Knight is just going to be able to hold. So I think this is where, you know, maybe just pulling four or five villagers from the wood line. You can see he's got plenty of villagers over here. But just four or five villagers, and then just over here. Outpost, mining camp. And you're absolutely fine at this point because you're you're not really worried here. I don't think Demu needs to be worried at all, just because he's up against uh, he's up against knights and he's up against archers. There's no spearmen out at all that he needs to worry about, and so he can just keep making knights, and he will just naturally win this fight. It, it's only a matter of time. It, 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 there's no two ways about it, and I think that's one of the things Downfall needs to be very careful of if he wants to commit to this. And it definitely feels like he does. He needs to think about adding in spears. We'll take a look towards his base. The barracks is down. The first spearman is looking to be produced now. But it's just one of those things where we really, really, really need those spearmen out sooner rather than later. And to be honest, as soon as that age up came through, I would be tempted to go into triple rack spearmen just because we need spears out right now. Um, and speaking of, speaking of triple rack spears, have a look how important they would be right now because you're up against triple gilded knights cleaning up reinforcements they've got that extra one point of melee armor which can really make the difference in fights like these villagers are going to go down he's lost five already make that six villagers now going to be on the run ideally should head towards this top side to make sure that they don't go down no gilded or no uh no extra armor points on the textiles just yet villagers will go down he's taking out eight workers but remember with that second tc in play it's going to be reduced the, the importance of it is reduced it's also got the relics to consider as well. Another important factor in this game is going to be the relics. Whenever it comes to this matchup, both civilizations have pretty decent bonuses when it comes to relics. Of course, for downfall, playing as the Rus, he's got access to the Abbey of the Trinity. For anyone unfamiliar with that landmark, it acts as a monastery and produces warrior monks at half the cost. Also gives them a couple of unique technologies. Which is nice. Doesn't really give you a bonus to the relics, but just kind of says like, hey, you're going for relics this game because you're getting a mosque very, very quickly. Uh, whereas on the Holy Roman Empire variant civilization side, the Order of the Dragon, they get access to the Regnitz Cathedral, which is going to double up that gold production coming out from your relics. In the middle of the map now, Gilded Knights are going to meet their first spearmen for the game. But one of the things to note is we've only got the one barracks coming out from Downfall. And the important thing to remember is that you need to be creating a lot of spears right now because your opponent has got very, very, very strong knights. These guys don't mess around. The strongest knights in the game here. Behind the scenes. The high trade house is now going to come down. And where does downfall go from here? I feel like crossbow spear could be a wise choice. In fact, I would almost encourage you to go for crossbow spear. Mainly just because I love crossbow spear. Uh, but then you do have to be careful of the lunch connect. 
So maybe mixing in a couple of archers could help. But kiting out or microing out those lens connect is difficult. I'll say that much. A jump now comes through. How many trees have we got? I'm going to go with... Oh, I got it wrong last time. 51. 46. I, I was closer this time. I was close. If you're, if you're winning five, I think that's... Uh, that's Impressive. Impressive. That's the word that we'll go for. Knights. Gilded Knights. Looking to clash. The teal versus the purple. I wish we could get better lighting in here, man. Like, we're fighting at, like, what? what is this? Six o'clock in the afternoon? Five o'clock in the afternoon? Can we can we fight in midday? Like, why are the shadows so bad? Well, not... The, the shadows aren't bad. It's just, why is the light so dim here? Veterancy coming through for those knights at the perfect time. Well, I guess the perfect time would have been about 20 seconds ago. 20... The perfect time is yesterday. The next best time is now. I think that's what they say in investing, isn't it? Anyway, spears, crossbows. First. First and finally building up. Mmm... I don't know how I feel about that. Horse archers. Oh, tell you what. I get a bit worried whenever I see horse archers come out. It's just... I don't know, man. Horse archers used to be amazing, but... I think they've fallen off, haven't they? But who knows? Because there is... I, I remember reading... So there's like a, there's a big chat, all the pros. They're all part of it. And I remember basically they were saying animation cancelling is, is a thing again. So that means you can animation cancel with horse archers. Before you used to kind of have to wait for their animation... Whereas now I think you can animation cancel, which is actually pretty decent. 14 damage. 5, 6, uh, 14, 8 damage. You're talking about 50 shots. 50 shots to kill a guild of knight. I mean, that's not that bad. If you've got 25 horse archers, that's like two shot them. Yeah, it still seems still seems a little bit excessive. I, I feel like crossbow spear is probably the way to go. That looks like what well, we're seeing a little bit of it. Not a whole lot, though. Villager advantage at the moment with downfall. He's up 17 vills. But remember, those villagers are the standard villagers compared to the Order of the Dragon villagers, which are stronger, better, harder, faster. All that good stuff. On that top side, though, Gilded Knights beating their counterparts on the roof side. Going to have an absolute field day out here as they are even Stevens on the number. Unfortunately, not on the strength, though. Demu having a wonderful time. Now does he look for Imperial Age? I feel like now is a great time to look for Imperial Age. The resources are starting to stack up. He's picked up three relics so far. Fourth one about to be picked up. And that is what I call a good time. Only one relic for downfall. Never feels good. Never, ever feels good having only one relic. When you're up against the Holy Roman Empire or the Order of the Dragon, because that civilization is so reliant upon them. Springled in placement. Relic out here on the edge of the map as well. You gotta be extra careful with it. He will look to pick up the fortifications now making sure it just stays alive for a little bit longer gilded knights moving up towards the north side wallalo he should have clicked it a couple seconds ago just so he could get into position we'll lose this relic at least for the moment spears out here as well up to eight gilded knights at the moment might need to have to might need to fall back here i suspect this relic is still within his control i wouldn't be worried if i was demo i think you still got this mainly all you want to do here is just kill the spears that's the big threat uh, because remember, if you're attacking the knights, but you're being attacked by spears, that's a bad situation to be in. Uh, but ideally, what we want to do is get our gilded knights to kill the enemy spears, and then we can kill the knights afterwards. Now we start to see all of the units making their way towards this top side. Demo's still got plenty of resources in the bank. I suspect he will be looking for that Imperial shortly. Unfortunately, the circumstances for him on the north side haven't really changed. He's going to be so careful. He was really playing with fire right then. Gilded knights from the back. Couple of them pretty low on health. Ideally, you'd like to see that one brought back. It just gets eliminated immediately. Gonna be able to clean up without too much of an issue. And of course, should be able to now pick up this relic as long as the knight doesn't get the kill. One more shot. Could find it. Not gonna find it. The crossbows are moving away. That's still four relics now for Demo. And Demo is a happy camper. On that south side, a outpost stands strong. Ready to receive a relic, unfortunately. That fifth and final relic was taken. Yet to be placed in just yet inside that monastery. Oh, I tell you what, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I just, I heard my son outside. He's, it sounds like he's got a bowl and he's spinning it on the floor. He loves to spin stuff. I don't know if I told you guys, he loves spinning things. It doesn't matter if you can't spin it. He, he will just try and spin it. That's what, that's what he does. He loves spinning things. I can hear him spinning the bowl. And I just thought to myself, I can't wait to go see him. I can't wait to go spin some bowls with him. <laughs> that sounds like it's a uh, like a euphemism, like to to do something else that you might do with bowls, but it's not. It's just, like quite literally like a bowl he just spins it. <laughs> when he says the word spin, he can't say it. He says pin. 
And so he's he would be he'll just be spinning random objects and be like pin pin pin. It's <laughs> anyway anyway. <laughs> Can't stop talking about the little guy. Oh gosh, Swabia coming up for demo. Interesting decision to go into Swabia, but to be honest, we're still pretty early in this game. Twenty minutes, uh, and with twenty minutes on the cards you still got quite a while to go like another 50 villages or so before you really hit that max and remember that the order of the dragon economy is significantly great <laughs> here he comes hey buddy <laughs> hey little dude he's brought the tv controller in with him all right mate out you go mum's here to, <laughs> to pick you up oh geez this is oh no <laughs> all right see you mate all right, we got ourselves a lot of... Oh my lord, these Gilded Knights look incredible. Is it just because they're purple and they're... they're look at the little booties they've got on them. Little purple boots. Is it because they're going through the, the the hill? I think that's probably what it is. Gilded Knights looking for a surround now. Elite upgrade. Still not yet through. Got a little bit of time to go. 25 seconds on it. The outpost will go down. Plenty of crossbows on the back and spears slowly coming through here. I feel like Demu probably needed to wait for that elite upgrade. Inspired Warriors only just coming through now as well. Will get repelled from this position. Keep in mind behind this, there is the potential threat that this relic gets sniped. And that's why Demu was fighting so damn hard for it. He knows how important it is to keep the relics in his possession. Back towards the base. The farming economy is looking pretty damn strong at the moment. Swabia pumping out villagers. Keep that in mind. He's got the two TCs. Not going to make villagers out of them anymore. He's happy with his economy where it's at. And he says, you know what? We're just going to make from Swabia now. Because remember, Swabia villagers, they do also cost less. So it means that you're able... Did I say less again? I always say less with a T on the end. They cost less. Oh, this is a second relic in the middle. He could lose out on this. Now, why is Downfall not going to pick this up? Downfall, you got to get out here. There we go. There we go. Downfall on the move. Third relic in the middle. Elite upgrades coming through on the Gilded Knights. The strongest of all the cavalry units in the game. This unit capable of taking out anything pound for pound. Inspired Warriors also going to be helping out here. Look at the amount of buffs these guys have got on them. 49 damage coming through. Unfortunately, the Prelate is going to go the way of the Dodo. You hate to see it. He's up to 12 elite Gilded Knights now. I'd love to see... There it is. Biology coming through now for him. That, I... I I couldn't even finish it before I looked up there and saw it. And I said, that's what I wanted. I wanted biology. 460 health. That is going to skyrocket up. You're going to be talking about 500, what, 560? No, 58. No, five, maybe even 600. Hold on. Hold your horses. 460. Going up. Seven seconds. Here we go. There's a unique upgrade coming through. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting it today. 460. It's going to be 552. Oh, put that in your pipe and smoke it. All right, here we go. And on top of that, we've also got war horses coming in. Gilded Knights take 25% less damage while charging. And the good thing about that is it reduces damage before armor. And that's really powerful because armor is this static figure. So everything that you can reduce before that as a percentage means that your armor is getting even more value. All right, let's take a look and see how he goes about it. Looks like we've also got Elite Gilded Lanch Connect. going to be coming in behind it. And now the Gilded Knights have arrived on the scene, looking to make a little bit of a trample. Not going to happen. Waiting for that upgrade. He's going to lose another relic here. Keep in mind, he's gone from four relics down to two, but about to drop to one. These relics have been recaptured now by Downfall. So I tell you what, a little bit worried I am about Demo. I think... On one hand, the outposts out here on the edges of the map made sense to get the relics in quickly, but he never shuffled them back to the safety of his base. Oh, Lord, he wants it. He wants it. Are you going to give it to him? Are you going to give it to him? Jeez, I tell you what, I would be so scared right now if I'm downfall. Like, you're not just... Like, shit, yeah, you got crossbow spear. That's exactly what I recommended, but you're up against elite knights, and these are not any knights. These are gilded knights. The crossbows on the front get eaten alive. Prelates behind. Who could look for a wall -wall. There it is. The gilded knights run up point blank range. Not going to find it. He gets zapped out. And now the wall, unfortunately, still going to be here, but it's just... It's a little bit too far away. The gilded knights swarming through that Rus army. Where were they? Where were they? We needed gremlins. We needed Kremlin gremlins, but they were nowhere to be seen. That would have been amazing right now. Can you imagine, you know, 20 gremlins just coming out from the rear or from the side, the flank, some way looking to try and hold this. 
But now downfall. He's got plenty of resources in the bank, but we just don't see the production. He needs to have more production. He needs to throw down more barracks. How many has he got? It feels like he's got enough. Maybe he's just not clicking enough. And now Demu into the base of the Rus player. Looks to bring about his opponent's downfall. Plenty of prelates. Gilded knights only. A couple of lunch connect are in here. Have a look at this. Looking to try and mix it up. And there they are. Plenty of Militia coming out, but the Lanch Connector, look at them doing that AoE damage. It is absolutely beautiful, and those Gilded Knights, just so much health on them. Good luck. Good luck, he says, as Demu overwhelms his opponent in a beautiful game. He lost the Relics, but at the end of the day, who cares if you lose the Relics if you win the game? Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it. I don't think there's any way the Downfall plays on any longer. It's been a good game for him, but unfortunately, he has run his course. Demu towards that top side, about to enter into the backside economy. He's got a pretty nice economy behind this. Have a look at this, 150 villagers, 115 villagers rather. He's just gonna continue pumping towards those forward Rus walls. Should be able to break them down in only a matter of seconds. Keep in mind, he's got those stronger units. And now slowly but steadily, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all over Red Rover. Fellas, go check him out. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can watch him live over on Twitch. Demu is the victor today with a beautiful strategy. A lot of Gilded Knights coming out here. One of the most powerful units in the game. What do you reckon? I'm a big fan. And I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and uh, goodbye for now.